Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing this 2010 Mitsubishi Galant. It's got almost uh, 61,000 kilometers on it. Yeah, uh, almost 61,000 kilometers on it, which is almost 38,000 miles. That is it. Uh, before I get started, I'll let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny G's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look around. I'll show you the features inside, but first I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the road tax, the warranty, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end, you have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Mitsubishi Galan is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $165 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. So we're going to take care of the remainder of the 2022 uh, road tax season, which we're still in. Then it's on you after April 1st or May to take care of the 2023. Now, if this is purchased after April 1st, then it's on us to do the 2023 for you. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this thing. The first one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Uh, before we go inside, I always like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is going to get a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in, get this baby started. Sixty thousand eight. What is that? Eight fifty-five on the odometer. Uh, I'll show you a couple of warning lights. Um, the one on the left, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Then the one to the right of that upper, that's your uh, that circular one, is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge, okay? So this one's a hand brake. So when you uh, disengage it, goes away. Engage it, comes right back on. On the next, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And then pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, in the middle here on top, the, it looks like it has an aftermarket um, uh, navigation. Then you have a little display. It's going to show the time, and I believe it's going to show. Yeah, it's going to show the uh, radio controls. I can turn that off. Sorry, Troy. Um, so you have your radio, uh, air conditioning controls, a little uh, ashtray there. You got your power outlet here, your shifter, little uh, slot for some coins or whatnot, cup holders, the handbrake as I told you about, and a little uh, armrest slash, con slash console that's going to give a little extra storage. Uh, continuing off to the left, you have your glove box. Then you have a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. Uh, you got your red roof layer hanging out. And this is the space I have on my side. I have 511, as everybody loves knowing. Um, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. Or I can slide this up a little bit uh, if I needed a little extra, or if people in the back need a little extra space, and I would still be comfortable. Uh, that's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Okay. Now, I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all, all their cars. We can for every single one, okay? So this was graded number four from, the, or graded number four from the auction, uh, with a C and C for the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade, and that's going to be up here on the driver's side sun visor, so you can see for yourself. Uh, before we go uh, to the back seat, let me show you a couple other things. Let's turn this off, get have less noise. So on the right side here, you do have uh, this one. That's your, to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the uh, street a little better, that's where you're going to do it from. Then off to the right here, you do have your mirror uh, and window controls, and then this door lock will control all your door locks, okay? Uh, down here on the right side, uh, underneath the dash, you do have your hood release. And then please don't forget here, you have your trunk release and your uh, gas cover release, okay? I think that went, oh, there it goes. Okay, oops. So let's go to the back here. Show you space back here. All right. Okay. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about an inch away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the pass seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And then a little bit of storage on each door panel. Okay. And then this one does have uh, a center armrest here. If I can get it out. Come on. There you go. That's going to give you uh, two additional uh, cup holders. Okay. Let's go back here. Show the trunk, which is going to be huge. Really nice size trunk back here. Okay. Let's go to the front. Show the engine compartment. They're going to wrap this video up. Beautiful day. Really beautiful day. 
All right, and there you have it. This is a 1.8 liter engine, nice and clean. And there you go, 2010 Mitsubishi Galant. Uh, what I say, six, almost 61,000 kilometers on it, which is only about 38,000 miles. That is it. Uh, military price goes down to 5,700. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 5,500 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper warranty, the remainder of the 2022 road tax, and the 10% sales tag is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether they go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best things in sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by uh, and we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition of the cars and mileage, then stop by John G's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.